got my laundry done. Mickey is going to go in my backpack. I got some stuff up here. I just I pack just a bit too much stuff. So now I have uh, enough stuff to overfill one of my bags. However, the other bag is going to be half full or half empty, whatever your outlook on life is. That's the main duffel bag. This is the other bag. I wish I didn't have to take this stupid thing. Got a little bit more to go, not a whole lot, but tonight is our last night here. We'll get on the plane tomorrow. That'll be it. Head to Germany. You got this big old covert operation, you know, getting from point A to point B, and we still don't know where we're going. <laughs> I guess that's the military for you. Well, got our bags all packed, got our truck loaded up, and we're fixing to head to the uh, uh, airplane. Uh, we're on lockdown here for a little bit longer, and as soon as, uh, as soon as they're ready, they're gonna call us, and we're gonna head out. Thirty-eight people are sitting on a plane that holds 150 people. This is the only way to fly. I'll give you a little remote for the TV. It's pretty fancy. I just wanted to bring you up to date of what's going on. ATC told us there's a base closure due to some unforeseen, at least unknown to us why that is, but anyhow, the base could be closed for up to four more hours, maybe less, so what we're going to do is have to plane and go back into the uh, building until we get uh, word of what's going on, and when we leave. Well, we're getting back so, off the plane. We were supposed to be wheels up ten minutes ago, and uh, that's not happening. So, I don't know when we're leaving. Nobody knows when we're leaving. Just when you think you're about ready to leave Fort Hood, uh, they keep you here. Oh my gosh. Well, we can keep you updated. Man, last night was a bust. We were supposed to leave, and there was some general that decided, I'm flying out. So they closed the whole airspace for four hours. Yeah, so we're trying again today. We got back to the barracks last night. It, uh, it was 2 a.m. We didn't have any pillows or linen or anything like that because who packs that on a plane, right? Took our boots off, took our uh, our top off, and uh, laid down, tried going to sleep. It was the worst night of sleep I've ever had. And then uh, got up this morning. We had to clean up the barracks again. And then um, come over here and try again today. One of the hard parts is you uh, call your wife, your kids, and uh, tell them, you know, bye. I'm gonna be, you know, be gone for a few days. You know, because we got once we get there, we gotta get set up with phone service, stuff like that. And then um, you call them back the next morning, like, hi, still haven't left yet. You know, kind of emotional roller coaster. But thankfully, all of our bags are still on the plane, so we didn't have to take them off. That would have been a that would have been a huge headache. I wanted to get a video of like walking out to the plane, right? I thought it'd be pretty cool to see everybody walking up onto the plane, stuff like that. The people that are in charge of getting us on the plane straight told us if he sees a camera out or a phone out recording, uh, they will take your phone and they will make you uh, reset it to factory settings. So I ain't losing all my stuff. Oh, one more thing. We're flying out today. Well, that's the plan. The flight I think's like. 12 hours. We still don't know where we're going. Okay, we know we're going to Germany. 
They haven't told us. There's two possibilities we can go. They're not telling us. It really just bugs me. I really hate being not in the know, you know? I guess we'll see when we get there. It's really hot. There he is. Old Mr. Sunshine himself. Ash hates when I do this. <laughs> Wonder if I'll ever own one. So uh, this will probably be one of the last videos I shoot for probably a week or so. We gotta get where we're going, we gotta get our internet service set up, get our mission schedule. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you from across the pond.